Hello guys, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem lead code 24, swap node in purse. So let's get started. So the problem is that they give us a linked list. And as we know, a linked list is a data structure that have nodes and each node have a value and reference to the next node. And they ask us to swap nodes and pairs means every two adjacent nodes need to be swapped without modifying the values in the list node. For example, if we have this input linked list, the result should be like that. So this problem is a good problem to learn to manipulate and understand how the linked list work. So the best way to solve this problem is by using the iterative approach. So let's say we have this input linked list. The first thing I'm going to do is to make an empty array and store all the value of the node on it. Then we calculate the length of the array. The goal from knowing how many nodes we have inside the linked list is going to help us to know how many time the swap node is going to be performed inside the linked list. After that, I'm going to initialize a dummy node that's going to have the value zero and reference it to the linked list. And this dummy node is going to help us to reduce the need for special case code and the swap and code part. Then we're going to initialize three variables. Then we're going to initialize three variables. The first one is the previous, which is value going to be the dummy node. The second one is the current and we're going to set his value to the head node. The third one is the temp and he is initialized at the next node after the current or after the head. Then we're going to use the length of the list that we created before and divide it by two. And that's going to help us to determine the number of time the for loop or the swap is going to be executed. So the first thing we're going to do is to take the, the next pointer of the current node and update it to the node after the temp node. Then we're going to update the next pointer of the temp node to the current node. After that we update the next pointer of the previous node to the temp node. So after we swap the first two adjacent and the linked list, in order to perform another swap for the remaining nodes, we need to update the previous variable to be referenced to the current node. And also we need to move the current node to the node after the current node. So after that, the same process is going to be repeated by moving the temp node to the next node of the current node, and then the next pointer of the current node to the node after the temp node. The next pointer of the next node is updated to the current node. And then we update the next pointer to the previous node to the temp node. So here the loop gonna stop iterating because in this input linked list, the nodes are only four, so we perform only two swapping. That's it, guys. So let's jump at coding the solution. First, we initialize a variable called pointer and set his value to be the head of the linked list. Then we create an empty array and we loop over the linked list, and each time we push the value of the node to the array. Then we calculate the length of the array. After that, we initialize a dummy node with a value zero and the next pointer to the head node then we initialize another variable called previous to the dummy node and another variable called current to the head node. Then we set a for loop that we're gonna loop over the linked list and pairs. So we take the length of the list and the, we divide it by two. So that's gonna determine how many times the loop gonna run. After that, we set a variable called temp to the node after the current node. Then we update the next pointer of the current node to the node after the temp node. And we update the next pointer of the temp node to be pointing to the current node. And then we move the next pointer of the previous node to the temp node. After that, we move the previous variable to the current node and we move Move the current node to be the next node after the current node. Finally, we return the next pointer of the dummy node, which is now the head of the modified linked list with nodes and pair swap. So the time complexity of the solution is often where n is the number of nodes in the linked list and because we are looping over the linked list once. And the space complexity is also often because we are using an array of size n to store the values of all the nodes. So to reduce space complexity, we can determine the length of the linked list without creating an extra space. So we initialize a function called calculate length. This function takes the head of the linked list as a parameter and then we initialize a length variable and set his value to be zero. After that, we loop over the linked list and each time we increment the length by one until we reach the end of the linked list and we return the length. After that, we keep the same code for swapping the nodes. 
So the time complexity of the solution is of n and the space complexity is of 1 since we are not using any extra space memory. It means we are not using an array data structure to store the nodes or calculate the length of the nodes inside the linked list. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.